A lot of exciting things going on. Uh, Massa had met with uh, President-elect Trump and discussed jobs and his investment in the U.S. Uh, at the same time, we had been in discussions with Massa about investment in OneWeb, where we're building a global knowledge infrastructure, of, uh, initially a constellation of 900 satellites to provide Internet access globally to, across the U.S. and across the world. And uh, Massa and Donald Trump, uh, in their conversation, talked about creating 50,000 jobs and uh, Massa investing $50 billion. And subsequently, uh, we announced our investment, uh, his investment in OneWeb of $1 billion. So we raised $1.2 billion in our last round, just December 19th. And, uh, and here we are today. What, what kind of jobs are these, the, these 3,000 jobs that you're going to be hiring for? These will be very high-tech, uh, highly skilled manufacturing and engineering jobs. So really right at the cusp of high skilled, highly skilled manufacturing and engineering. And where will they be based? Uh, really all across America. We have a very broad supplier base. So uh, in, in Florida, a lot of jobs in Florida, um, a lot of jobs in Arizona, uh, Maryland, Virginia, and, and of course California, and uh, many of the different right. states around in, in smaller numbers. Greg, help us with this debate, and I don't need to tell you this because I'm sure you've read it and, and you know it, but there are people out there uh, who saw the original announcement uh, where Masa Sun was standing in Trump Tower with Donald Trump uh, when they made this announcement that they were going to invest um, uh, in, in the United States $100 billion as part of this fund, 50,000 50, jobs were going to come of it. And there were a number of people, and I will say I was one of them, who went back and looked at the, I think it was the front page of the, the front of the money investing section of the Wall Street Journal a month prior to that, um, to that physical announcement and said, SoftBank was already going to do this. This was this was already this this had nothing to do with whether he became president or not or, or had anything. This was just, this is just an announcement. Um, what, what, what do you think of that? Well, I think there was plans to create the Vision Fund. I can't speak for it. I think that obviously the plans had been going on before uh, President-elect Trump was was elected. Uh, however, the invigoration and excitement that President Trump brought, or President-elect Trump brought to, to Massa, and and the way they they worked together in, fo in really energized the focus of the fund to invest this amount of money in the U.S. Remember, it's a global fund, so the money could have been invested sure. all around the world. To Andrew's point, though, Greg, uh, the investment uh, by SoftBank through that fund in your company, a billion dollars, was announced last week. Was there any sort of quid pro quo? Was there an understanding that you would create these jobs and that they would be in the United States with the goal of meeting that target when you accepted the funds from SoftBank? Uh, no, no. What, what was kind of interesting was we had been in discussions with SoftBank, and then after he met with uh, President-elect Trump, he came back and increased his investment in OneWeb. Um, and then we proceeded to look through, because of the discussion about jobs and job creation, we just proceeded to look through our own future uh, growth over the next four years, as well as our supplier growth directly related to right. the jobs we'd be, uh, the uh, contracts we'd be releasing. Hey, Greg, and the other so, thing I wanted you to try to help us with is when you, th when you think about hiring these people here in the United States, tell us about the thought process in terms of, did you say to yourself, okay, normally, or maybe not normally, but perhaps we would hire them and do it in X country, and why we would have done it in X country, and what the price point and the margin would be if we did it elsewhere relative to here. Can you sort of walk us through this, well, to the extent that this could be a model for others? Sure, sure. So we're a global company, right? We're building a, a, uh, the world's largest satellite constellation, which will provide Internet access to tens of millions and then hundreds of millions of people around the world. So it's a very large project. We've raised $1.7 billion to date. And uh, so it's about a $3.5 billion project initially, and then we'll continue growing from there. So we're looking at every country of the world. We're looking at where we're going to put our assets and where we're going to deploy resources. And the U.S., under President Trump, where he started to talk about a reduction in U.S. Tax, in US taxes to make it more fair or competitive on a global basis, is really important. Also, the U.S. The U.S. has a tremendous amount of, of highly skilled technical capability that really needs to be unlocked. And this is really, it was, it was what he's talking about is energizing a lot of people I've been talking about, talking to, about bringing more jobs back to the U.S. and doing more in the U.S. Um, and we do, you do believe we have enough skilled workers to do this? Uh, well, we always could use more, for sure. But, I mean, I, when you think about those 3,000, uh, these, these are people who are based here. You think you know where to get them, know how to find them? 
Oh, for sure, for sure. We have a, a great university system and a, and a great base of skilled workers, uh, but certainly bringing in more and, 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 and attracting more people to uh, highly skilled workers in the U.S. is great, but we have a, a really strong ba uh, economic base and a really strong base of skilled workers. We haven't had trouble in the U.S. finding, uh, finding skilled talent, for sure. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.